Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Marie. In today's video, you'll learn how to make these tasty coconut flavor rice cakes. They're only 50 calories each and they're gluten free. So let's start cooking. I always like to start with an ingredient list so that it's easier for you to follow along. I also post ingredient details in the description box below. We'll be using rice flour, tapioca, sugar and water. And for leavening, we'll use active dry yeast, lukewarm water and a little sugar. Coconut cream will be our flavoring. Be sure to include a little salt because it amplifies the flavor of your ingredients. The first thing we'll do is activate the yeast. Mix it with lukewarm water and half a teaspoon of sugar. Stir and then let it sit for about 5 minutes. Alright, when you see all this foam, you know your yeast is working. Next, we'll prepare the batter. Mix the rice flour, tapioca, sugar, water and yeast. Stir until the mixture is smooth and without lumps. The next step is proofing, also known as fermentation. Cover the bowl so it can stay warm as it ferments. I usually cover mine with a thick towel and it works really well. The proofing time is about one and a half hours. There are two indications that proofing is complete are lots of gas bubbles and an increase in its volume. Now give the batter a good stir to release some of the gas. Then add the coconut cream and salt. Mix it well. It's now time to prepare for steaming. If you want to add colors to your cakes, divide the batter into separate cups to hold different colors. For this batch, I'll use red, green and yellow. I'll leave one cup with the original color. Okay, it's time to steam the cakes. Put about 2 inches that's 5 cm of water in a steamer. Turn on high heat and bring it to a boil. Arrange some heat-proof cups on the rack. I'm using silicone rubber cups here. Fill each cup about 3 quarter full. Cover the pan and steam with high heat for 2 minutes. After 2 minutes, remove the lid and release the steam that's built up. Wipe off liquid from inside the lid. Now, reduce the heat from high to low and continue to steam for just 5 more minutes. These small cupcakes don't take long to cook. The total cooking time is 7 minutes. You can test what doneness by inserting a skewer in the center of a cupcake. It may come out moist, but if there's no actual batter sticking to it, the cakes are done. Notice that some cakes have cracks on the top. That's normal for this recipe. When they cool down a little, remove them from the cups and serve. They are best when still a little warm. Leftover cakes can be warmed later in a microwave. By the way, these are also known as honeycomb cakes. This is the reason. The inside resembles a honeycomb. It has a really nice mouth feel when you bite into it. Thank you so much for watching. 
I hope you found my video helpful. If you did, push that like button and leave a comment below. I love hearing from you. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do so. I post videos regularly. I'll see you next time. Mmm, it's good.